Hello, everybody. This is Trucking with Mel. So this video is from December 29th, 2020. I'm in uh, South Beloit at this time. There was a uh, this this winter storm was pretty intense. There was a name to it. I don't remember the name of it. Um, I was coming. I had went to St. Paul, Minnesota and unloaded up there a load of organic milk and I was coming back empty. So I got an empty tank. I really hit this storm. Um, I hit it up uh, by Toma, Wisconsin. So it got the, the I noticed it was pretty windy and the further south. I would say southeast. I got like coming back towards Madison, Wisconsin, like Rockford, Illinois, because I was heading down to Chicago, back to Indiana to get my next load. I, I it got worse as the as the night went on. You can see it's snowing pretty bad. It's pretty windy. I had stopped here to get some fuel and clean my lights and stuff off. That particular tank I was pulling had LED lights on the back of it, so. As I stated in a previous video, the thing with LED lights is that they are very bright. You can see them far off, but they don't have the heating element in them. So snow covers the lights up and it makes it a hazard. It really does. Um, but the thing that I really want to address in this video, you know, you guys can watch the footage or whatever is winter weather. And I talked about it before, um, but I really want to hit on the significance of this and that is one of the things is making sure you got the proper tools so for me as you can see i still don't have a winter blade on and actually those blades froze up fairly quickly and pretty bad and it does create a hazard so the way the wind was blowing south the whole before i stopped and recorded this video the whole left side of my windshield was iced up i actually thought at one point that my defroster wasn't working correctly because the passenger side was defrosted. The driver side wasn't. Um, right here, I'm getting back on to um, 90 East here in Illinois. I just crossed the line there from Wisconsin. Um, and so I actually thought that my defrost wasn't working correctly, but it was from where it was so snowy and so windy, it was icing up on that side. So once I stopped and was able to clear it off and let the defrost catch up that's where you see my windows a little clear now um but I, I want everyone to keep in mind who who's looking at becoming a truck driver or even just the 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 general motoring public on how to operate around trucks and things like that in this weather we kick up a lot of snow we kick up a lot of spray behind us and you'll see, I'm, I, I drive for what I'm comfortable for. I don't let a dispatcher. I don't let other traffic. Nobody's going to drive this truck except for me. If I get out there and have a wreck, I got an answer for it. I get out there and God forbid I kill or hurt somebody. It's coming back on me. Not the company. Nobody, the company not going to stand up for you. I, I haven't met, seen a company yet. I could be wrong, but you get out there and have a wreck. It, you done something you know you wasn't supposed to do. You gonna have to go before the judge and jury, and it's gonna be on you. Um, so you get stuff like this where you can't see the lane. So basically, you're you're following the beaten path, and you can see from this video the snow has accumulated in the lanes pretty quickly. They they haven't touched this right here. Um. And luckily, I will say, you, I'll have a couple trucks that'll pass me. But for the most part, everybody was doing good. And I'll pass a couple cars, too. And that's okay. Everybody's driving for their comfort level, you know. Uh, but I want to talk about the mental aspect of trucking. This is what I really want to hit on. This weather right here will drain you. It'll wear you out mentally. Physically, it's, trucking is easy. Driving is an easy job. It's the mental aspect of this job that will wear you out. You got to have an outlet, whether that's talking to somebody that understands, whether it's, you know, a parking and, and, and going to bed, reading a book, lighting some candles, having some music on, maybe venting to another trucker, because this will consume you this time of year. And people don't really understand what we go through, which is normal because they're not the ones out there behind the wheel. They're not the ones out there that have to deal with these stressors of trucking. 
But I'm telling you and I'm begging you and I'm speaking from experience that this will wear you out. You had if you've had a long day, a long week, this weather will consume you. At the end of the day, you will sit there and you will be like, man, what has happened? It's been a long day. At one point, I mean, we were going 15 miles an hour. You got to throw it out the window. You're not going to make no time. You know, sometimes you're going to have to call your dispatcher and say, hey, this load going to be late. I'm stopping. I'll let you know when I get back going. That's just what it, this is what it is. And, you know, I'm. this is the best I can do. If they want somebody to get that load there sooner, they'll send somebody to come and get it. You can only drive for what you're comfortable with. But I want you guys to really focus on this 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 snow, this weather, and, and look how how bad it gets. Even right here, you know, like I said, they haven't touched this. You can see all the snow is piled up in the road. I got an empty tank. There was a couple of times where I broke traction, but luckily I wasn't going that fast. There's not really nobody around me. I didn't get into a skid or anything like that, but I just really want people to focus and think about it. If you're cross country, if you're going to be, you know, starting out cross country, these are things you're going to have to deal with. You know, you got you may live somewhere where it doesn't snow. You may have never driven in the snow. But driving a truck cross country in the winter, you're going to have to deal with the snow eventually if you go cross country over the road. If you stay regional, close to home where you don't get no snow, you may never have to experience this. But if the snow bothers you and it scares you, this is something that you have to get used to. You see here the snow is kind of blowing back in my face, but I, it's, it's, it's not detrimental. So it looks like I'm going a lot faster than what I am because of the way the snow is coming back towards the windshield because of that truck that just passed me. You can see where I've, I've picked up the speed on my wipers to try to accommodate for that. Um, I never got in a hurry, never was unsafe, never put anybody in a compromising situation. And that's what it takes. With, with experience, you will learn to be comfortable. You will learn what you're comfortable with. You can't just drive for yourself. You got to drive for everybody around you. Keep that safe cushion. Keep yourself a way out and know that, hey, this will this will be OK. If you do find yourself where it's too bad, and you say, I can't do this no more. Find you a safe location to pull over. Don't pull over on the side of the highway. That's a great way to get hit. You, you saw when I got back on the on the highway earlier in the video, there was a car on the shoulder cleaning up cleaning off their blades and stuff that is a good way to get hit because people are already having a hard time seeing i'm gonna pause that thought remember i spoke about my wipers and how i needed a winter blade you can see right here my my blade is iced up again because it's not wiping the it's wiping the windshield but it's not clearing that section it just did it i was able to break that ice free it's essential to have a good winter blade I, I i got me some now um i gotta get them put on make sure your defrost is working with a wet heavy snow like this your grill is going to get clogged up with ice and snow you may need to get out and clean that off because now your truck's overheating because it ain't getting no air you see i'm, I'm staying to the right there's a truck passing me to the left that's fine let him go the quicker you get around me, the quicker the the quicker I don't have to worry about you taking me out. You ain't got to worry about your jackknifing and running into the side of me. So, uh, you know that's thanks to you know let let them let them go cars, trucks, whoever. Hey, you ain't bothering me. I'm glad you're getting around me. So, these are just things I want people to consider. When they say, hey, I want to be a truck driver, you may need to get on a truck with a trainer during the winter so you don't got to face this by yourself. You can learn with a trainer and say, I'm going to get through this winter weather, you know, with somebody on the truck to help me. This is what it takes to be a successful truck driver. And these are things that you will have to face and things that you will come into to contact with and to play with. Do not panic. Slow, steady movements on the wheel. Easy on the brake. Like I said, I got an empty tank. If I have to get on that, them brakes hard, it's, 
it's a great possibility I'm going into a skid or a jackknife. Those are things that I have to consider and keep in mind. Double, triple your your following distance and your space. That'll give you more time to react. It'll give you more space to operate if something goes wrong. You know, give the plows their space to operate and clean the roads. They're going slow, too. They're out there to clean the roads, saw them, get them back open. You can see we still can't see the pavement. We're just following the beaten path. But also, there's not a lot of traffic out. This was probably at 7 30, 8 o'clock Central Time, um, Tuesday, the 29th, that evening. Um, I'm still in Illinois, heading east. I haven't even quite made it to Rockford yet. But like I said, I'm just I'm just here. I'm I'm watching my mirrors, watching up ahead, you know, because you don't know what lane you're in. You're kind of just on the road. So um, like I said, these are things I want you to see. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. But also, I want you to look, look at the footage. Look at the snowy conditions. Can you handle this? If not, can you learn to handle this? You know, if you got to stop, you got to stop. That's not nothing against anybody. I'd rather you stop and be safe than to continue on and something happen. That is a, there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make you less of a truck driver. That doesn't make you any less of a man or a woman. I commend you for saying, hey, I can't handle this. I need to pull over and get myself together. But these are, these are just one of the stress, stressful things about driving a truck. And um, you can see it's still windy. That wind is blowing. That's what creates the blizzard conditions is when you can't see right here. We got two trucks stopped in the road. I just spoke of this. I understand if you got to stop, I get it. But we are in the road here and that makes it that makes it hard to. It's a good way for something to happen. It's a good way for something bad to happen for somebody to get hit or lose control or I get it. If you break down, you got to stop. You need to have those triangles out. You can get a ticket for not putting those triangles out within a certain time. That's what they're there for, to warn people you're coming up on a broken down vehicle. Make sure they are out there where they're supposed to be spaced out so people can see you, especially in a blinding snow like this. You can see how windy it is. So that's 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 something that, you know, you may be grumpy. You may be in a bad mood. You may just be generally just be wore out and tired from this weather. Your loved ones may understand. They may not. You may have to explain it to them and say, hey, listen, I had a long, rough day. I just kind of want to relax. It's nothing personal. I, You know, for me, I had been in snow for a couple of weeks at this point. No, not consecutively. But off and on, I have been running a lot of miles. I have been, you know, um, tired from running, so tired from the weather, just mentally just drained at this point. And that's not a good place to be. So I got where I needed to go and I went to bed for the night. You know, I, I was able to make it out of this. I had enough time on my clock. Um but these are things I want you to think about when you say you're asking yourself, hey, I want to go be a truck driver. I want to drive long haul cross country. You know, you'll come into play of this, you know, four or five months out of the year, depending where you're running. Some places up in the mountains get snow as early as September and as late as June. OK, cool. You may not have that in the normal areas, but it's going to happen if you run long haul. Can I handle it? Can I deal with it? These are things I want you to ask yourself. And also create a healthy, safe outlet to give you a break from these stressors that you're going to face. Because if not, it's going to be a long winter for you. So I'm not going to talk the whole video. It's been a while since I recorded a video. I wanted to get this out there. I just want you guys to think about that. Enjoy the rest of the footage. Let me know what you think. If you have any tips for me, I don't know at all. I'm open to hear them. I'll share tips for you guys as well. Be safe out there this winter. Make sure you make it home safely to your loved ones. Do everything you can to make every load arrive safely. Don't worry about it being on time. This time of year, everything ain't going to be on time. You can plan your trip out. 
You still don't know how bad the road's going to be. Don't you get it there safely when you can get it there. A late low is better than a load that's strewn all across the ditch and somebody's life is in jeopardy or somebody hurt. So there's things I want you guys to think about. But anyway, this is Trucking with Mel. I want you guys to watch the rest of this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think.